I've been caught over there. But what I was essentially doing is looking at flights from Davos to San Francisco, from San Francisco to London, and then from there to Barcelona. It's a complicated job and I think I need to hire a travel agent. The reason I'm saying that is because the next few days entails so much travel for most of us creators and journalists because there's so much happening in the world of tech. A bunch of events lined up. The only thing that I can tell you in my most elementary form is if you're on the market for a new smartphone, then please don't pick it up already because Nabila has the latest from the world of smartphones and she's going to tell us why you should wait it out for the next four weeks if you're in the market for a new device. If one of your 2023 resolutions was to get a new mobile phone and if you still haven't yet purchased any, then we'd suggest waiting for another month now and then take your decision. Because February is going to be the month of tech launches. Or shall we say it's tech query? Never mind. Big names like Samsung and OnePlus are gearing up to launch their flagship phones in the coming month. Joining the list here are also popular brands like Oppo and Vivo. So let's take you through a list of all that's expected in February. First up will be Samsung, which will launch its flagship Galaxy series on February 1st. Samsung is expected to launch three models, the Galaxy S23, Galaxy S23 Plus and the Galaxy S23 Ultra. All three are expected to be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip along with some of the best smartphone displays in the industry. Then on February 7th will come a major announcement from OnePlus as the company is now expected to launch the OnePlus 11. Also likely to be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, the OnePlus 11 will also feature a triple camera setup with Hasselblad tuning. The device will also come with a curved 2K AMOLED screen with a 120Hz refresh rate. Enough competition for iPhones? Well, we certainly hope these brands can pack a punch. And then there's also Realme that is expected to launch the Realme GT Neo 5 on February 8th. It will come with a 6.7-inch OLED display and will be powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chip. An MWC launch that has all of us excited is the Xiaomi. The tech company has now confirmed the launch of its 13 series at the Mobile World Congress, set to kick off on the 27th of Feb. The company is expected to launch two phones, Xiaomi 13 and Xiaomi 13 Pro, both again powered by the new Snapdragon chip and a curved AMOLED display. We will wait to see, in fact, wait to see if at all they launch more products in their ecosystem as part of their segment and branding as it's built quite extensively at this point of time. Samsung will finally have competition from Oppo as well. We showcased its China-only foldable as a Tech Today exclusive last year, but this time they're taking things to a whole new level here, hopefully with an India launch. Oppo is expected to announce its latest series of foldable phones and it looks like the Samsung Flip 4 will face stiff competition from the Oppo Find N2 Flip. Now, there's also Vivo which is expected to launch the X90 and the X90 Pro smartphones on the last day of January. The X80 though had one of the best cameras on a smartphone, so tech enthusiasts are waiting now for this launch with bated breath to see what better features they have on this one. So there you go, the top smartphones being launched in February. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.